Why does Ganesha have a broken tusk? Well, once upon a time, a sage, Vyasa, asked Ganesha to be his scribe. Vyasa had a great story to tell, and he asked Ganesha to write it all down. And Ganesha said, sure, on one condition. Don't stop. <laughs> Keep the story going. Keep telling it in a continuous way. And Vyasa, the sage, said, okay, and I have a condition as well. Ganesha, you have to understand every word that you write down. And Ganesha said, sure. And so they began. And this was a story of everything, the history of the world. And it's a story of the origin of things, of deities and demons, of animals and human animals, of monsters and all kinds of creatures. And it's a story of war and of peace, of alliances and obligations. It's a story of allegiance and fracture. This history of the world that Vyasa tells and tells and Ganesha writes and writes is a story of loss and despair and treachery and a story of devotion and generosity and great love. It's a story of action and inaction. In short, it's a story of everything. And so as Ganesha writes the history of the world, his pen wears down until it breaks. Now, the story is continuous. And so Ganesha looks around for another pen and not finding one, he reaches up and takes one of his very own tusks and breaks it, dips it in the ink, and then continues to write. This story we have come to know as the Mahabharata, the history of everything. And the story is continuous. It describes a world that goes on that continues an unfolding of consciousness and consciousness becoming all things. It's a story that is knowable. So as consciousness unfolds and takes form as all of the things in the story, we can know consciousness becoming known to itself because that's what we are. And so it's a story that we can understand. And it's a story that's unfinished. As Vyasa tells the story and Ganesha receives the story and expresses the story, we're there as well. And so isn't it really interesting <laughs> that this story, in addition to lots of other things, is one about how an oral tradition becomes written. And these qualities of the story itself are also cautionary, very good advice. <laughs> First, that we remember that the world is continuous, that the world goes on, and so the story, whether it's told or written, whether we tell it or receive it, there's a lot more to it. The story is knowable. And the caution there is to engage with the world and know what you speak, know what you write, try to figure out what it is that you receive. And finally, the very good advice is that we remember that we are in this world as we are, 
full and complete, a whole story in ourselves, but also a fragment, as it were a broken tusk. And that in this way, we contribute to this history of the world with everybody else's story, told, heard, written, received. Everything is here. And so in the Mahabharata, at the very beginning of this long story, and again at the very end, the sage and Ganesha share with us What is contained within can be found in other places, but what is not here can be found nowhere else. <laughs>